I prank America's most racist man. <laughs> Today is all po positivity, you heard? Oh. Oh. This is America's ah. most racist you should man, do a and this Academy is the story of how I found this man and tricked him into giving me an interview. But the craziest thing about all of this okay. is that it was all an accident. Because originally I was traveling to Harrison, Arkansas, Gee. because based off the videos I've seen online, it's America's most racist town. Hey, who, hey, who's from Arkansas? So, uh, so this is basically like a, another, another uh, video that uh, the Dion had did, right? Who's from Arkansas? Let it out now. Let it out now, man. Real sh Prayers for Buffalo in the chat. Big prayers for Buffalo. And as I have a lot of history trolling racists. They're the streets. They're taking our roses, they're taking the lot. And they took your teeth as well. Game. Yeah, they did. I thought I was definitely qualified <laughs> to go down there to see this town for myself and find out if it really is racist. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna admit it. That shit is in here. It's a toast. To, to this crib, you know, have giving me good memories and shit. I'm not gonna lie. Chat, if you see me drunk today, I don't wanna hear nothing. So I traveled from London all the way to Northwest Arkansas. We're here! Well, we're not here yet. We have to get a taxi and then we're gonna be there. And unfortunately, Yay, there were no taxis. So I had to try and hitchhike my way into getting someone to drive me all the way to Harrison, which is a two- Wait, <laughs> y'all got no Uber? <laughs> y'all got Ubers in Arkansas? What the fuck? Two hour journey. You gotta go into Harrison? Yeah, Harrison, yeah. What's in Harrison for you guys? Um, so basically, we hear it's the most racist town in America. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's why you came? Yeah, yeah that's, that's why I came so the whole way. I'm saying we get a road trip to Harrison. I really want to take you. I have to catch a movie, but I'm... Let me see. And what time's your movie? You gotta watch... Is that 10? Okay. Yeah, I, I think I can pull it off. You think? I think so. Really? <laughs> you think you can pull it off? You think you can take the bar? <laughs> Like, uh, yeah, 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 we're not killers, we're not killers. First thing we have to do, we just have to prove that we're not killers, is the passports. Uh, <laughs> this is where I just get out the zip tie and, uh, <laughs> and choke you. No, not funny. Dude, right have you guys heard much about- I ain't gonna lie, I can't just trust like this, bro. Shout out Nico, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm not trusting niggas like this. These like, you got the craziest trust, that gang. Not gonna lie, I don't know who these niggas are, bro, but hopefully God is with you, gang. About Harrison. They have like a they have like headquarters there. I saw a video on YouTube last year. Somebody like just had Black Lives Matter sign and people were telling him like don't be here after dark. <laughs> oh my gosh. Once after dark. About ten minutes, I'm gonna be back. You better be <laughs> gone. Yo one of those towns that if you are a minority, don't stop for gas if you can avoid it. Fuck okay, so it's, it's like, like that. And you feel like I should be Yo. nervous going. I would be a little more nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh, George, what are we getting ourselves into? This? Wait, does, is Nico, how often is Nico, how often is Nico in the US? Is it like he's always out here sometimes or is like he's like, he's in the UK? He's never out, wait, so he came from the UK to here? First of all, gang, you in a whole different country, gang. That's crazy. This was already sounding like a bad idea, and to make things worse, Daniel told us a story about his friend who went to high school there. So your friend... He's black, right? He found a noose in his locker one time, and every day after school, he didn't and stick uh, around any longer than he needed to. He went straight to his mom's car to pick him up. God, man, what? For real, what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> Why are you scared? You should be smiling right now. This is probably safer than the England view. <laughs> oh, shit. much here. This is, um, I believe to be Harrison. We're a couple minutes away from our hotel and then uh, we're going to start exploring. Thank you so yeah. much, my friend. I do want to give you some cash because obviously you drove us all the way down here. Okay, how much cash? $300. Yeah! Is, yo! And I swear to God, bro, content creators got it, bro. These niggas is rich. Bro, you could just, you could just give that much money?
Thank you so much. Here we go. <laughs> so I waved off our good friend Daniel, and just like that, yeah, yeah, we had yeah, arrived yeah, yeah, in the paid. most racist yeah, yeah, town yeah, 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 in he's America. Paid. Well, chat, I'm chat. into this hotel. It is actually on the uh, National Register. Like, you see, this is how I know I can never tell y'all niggas a secret. Because y'all niggas, like, like, bro, it's how I know I can't trust y'all niggas for real, bro. Because y'all niggas gonna go, go, go spill the beans everywhere, but I fucking hate y'all niggas. Historic places. So, uh... Oh Mental God. stuff's gone down here. Hello, how are you I doing? I just had some Chick Fil A. Hi, Brenda. I'll be here until eleven tonight. Perfect. If you want torture, just come down and I'll torture you. Yeah, some we'll more. we'll talk again, Brenda. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> huh? Um. Oh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Have a lift ever felt like a horror movie? It's this one. There we go. Now, we just what got the to f f all the town a little bit. Brenda, where's best for like nightlife here? Good luck. This town's dead. You might head down to the square. No. The square? Off we go. No! Oh no. my, yo. Brave ass, bro. Now, uh, this one. Yo! This feels scary. You know, I'm actually scared. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wonder why, George. To be honest, going out late in a town that is seen as the most racist town in America alone I wouldn't say after dark, man. Might be the stupidest thing I've ever done on this channel, and that is saying something. I presume this is the square, and this place is dead. <laughs> just like that, we... <laughs> and this place is dead. And just Yo, like Arkansas, that... Arkansas! 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 Where's the best place to go on Harrison? Like, where's the spot at? Like, yo, where's the bitch? Yo, where's the bitch at in, in, in Harrison, bro? Where they, where the bitch at? Uh, we stumbled across our first local resident of Harrison, Arkansas. We're new to this place. We're just filming a documentary for the BBC. Okay. Uh, where's it popping? Where's the nightlife going on? Yeah. Not really a nightlife in this town. No nightlife? No. But I don't know how people could do this, no. bro. This is what we call this. Hey, how can you live in a, 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 in a town with nothing going on? Right now, and it is what, like 9.30 on a Saturday? Yeah, it's crazy. You got any friends around here? Uh, we're actually playing uh, cards at the card shop right down there. Can we join you? Uh, sure. Thank you so much for letting us know. Sorry, what's your name? Uh, Richard. Richard Nicholas. And Richard Yo. here had brought us- Nah, Nico, you wildin'. I feel like you got balls, bro. You in a whole different country, bro. You got balls. You just, you just tw trusting people left and right, gang. Into the land of the N words. The land of the nerds. Oh, big up. Oh, oh, oh. Let's play magic. Okay, 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 okay. So I just pick a card to play. I'm playing the command tower. What card has he played? This is Shipwreck Marsh. I'm just gonna play my blood crypt. I'm going to play Evolving Wilds. We played a game okay. called Magic the Gathering and I was claiming to be a pro, but honestly, I had never played it before in my life and I think it was obvious. Draw card. Yeah, no, okay, a draw card. Got you. All right, so... Okay. Draw card. Yeah, draw card. No, from your deck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But then I became a prestige 1000 level wizard nah, and all of my bro. fellow magicians respect, which meant I could ask them to tell me the truth about this town. We were sent here on behalf of the BBC because we were told that- Wait, is BBC- Big Black Cats? Yo! Harrison is actually the most racist town in America. We get a lot of hate about Harrison being a racist but town. It's not that everybody here is that way. Okay. It's just that there was a history in the past. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's like a white supremacy group or whatever. They're in another town. They just like to come here so people don't bother their towns when they do it. So, so whereabouts are they? It's a place called Oh, Zinc. Shit. Ain't that where I'm just doing? And there's a guy that runs a church down there that it has a small group of like guys that come out and march and do things, but they come here. Or Ain't that where the deal went? Right outside of our town, they don't do anything where they're at. So these racist places, as a black person myself, it doesn't make sense for me to go to at all. No, no. Would, what would they do if they saw me? Trust me, if you went there, 
you would not be welcome. Just you driving through the town, you are darker skinned than they are, the police will pull you over. Oh. And they will strip your car from one end to the other because they assume, because you're different, that you're probably also a criminal and after. I mean, there are places. Wow! You would likely not walk out. Mental. This was honestly a shocking start. The stuff they were telling me was so bad it didn't what? sound like real Wait, life. Okay, let me, okay, let me, I know I know racism is everywhere, right? Right? I know racism is everywhere, right? How is it in like the UK? Like is the UK pretty racist? Like how is it? Like do y'all get along a lot? Like, how, like is it just like all the same? How is it? Some areas no. UK racist yes. It's the same, yes, same, okay. I ain't gonna lie, chat, I ain't gonna lie, I wanna stream in Africa. I ain't gonna lie, chat, I wanna stream in Africa. Though these guys seem cool, I mean, I even took Rich's number, I still needed to dig deeper, as that was just one group's opinion. So I went and found this bar to speak to a few more people. And we've my, seen like where my reports online is at? that this area where is my the most racist at? town in America. But actually they live in Zinc. Where huh? my guardians at? Zinc. Yeah. So who is the racist in Zinc? Where my Ethiopians at? I can, but I won't say it. What's the name? I won't Oh, you won't say it. He's got a little group together over in Zinc. a little church. So there's a mystery man in Zinc, okay. who is the leader of the racist group. Is it safe in Zinc? No, there's some people that live there. Listen. Would they like people like me? Mm, don't think so. I oh, didn't on. know about it. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe. The one thing I could say that I like about this town is that, bro, they're gonna keep it a stack with you. They don't give a fuck. Hey, yo, bro, you're black? Oh, yeah, you're not like, you're not gonna be on the, on the bushes and shit. Bro, you're black? Get out of here. <laughs> yo, you're black? <laughs> you sell drugs. Yo, no, this world is crazy. Two years ago, I was stunned by it, how secret it was. Kept. Yeah, you are so wise, Gandalf. What, what is the name of the... You're black, better get out of here before I see your mata! Of the Grand Master in Zinc. I can't. You can't say his name, he shall <laughs> not, not be named. No, I'm not scared of him. He's an old grandfather retired, <laughs> like me. I mean, he's... But you are good, he, and he, he is bad. Like what is his name, Gandalf? I can't. <laughs> Clearly some dark <laughs> magic must happen when you say this man's name, but from our first night, we'd found out some very you interesting information, that, that which were helping way. me build an opinion on Harrison, Arkansas. What I'm thinking so far is everyone who I've spoken to yeah. seems proper nice and welcoming. They're telling me that the people in this town aren't racist, but it's just one area that just so happens to be very racist. And there just so happens to be a mystery leader who okay. is like the most racist man in the world, it seems. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so, get the donut. Also, like, in a, in a I second. feel like we should dig into that a Grant little bit. Grant's holding his ass. also being warned away. I don't know if we're going to end up risking our lives for YouTube. We'll find out. Again. Again. Hey, should I be Spider Man tonight? Day two. This was my opportunity hey, to just, explore play, the town. Can I just play Miles Morales and beat it? James, I'm Shush. Say that one more time. Shush. Shush? Yeah. Okay. But the same things carried on getting repeated. The racism's honestly out for it. Or, or give me a, give me a game and I'll beat that motherfucker. It's Zinc. Uh, because that's where I'll beat it tonight. Wizard of the KKK. Interesting. The Grand but Wizard. The, honestly, a lot of people don't care. Uncharted. About we could be Uncharted, bro. In Harrison, you know, we're not racist. You know, most people, you can go down to almost any store and most of them aren't racist in the least bit. So okay. it's actually sad that you guys have now been given this reputation yeah. because of the Grand Wizard. Yeah just because he lived near us. Oh my gosh, it's there. Look at it. It's not racist to love people. White Pride Radio. My nigga Nico got that Ameri, he got the Ameri hoodie on, chat. What the fuck? What the fuck? Bro. Cap. That's cap. That's cap. That's cap. That's cap. That's cap. That's cap.
this cat. Cold, cold. You know what's interesting? Very little the fact they changed it. They changed this sign to make it more uh, friendly. They've modernized it. Now, the billboard said Harrison Strong, but not a single person I'd spoken to seemed to endorse it. But that definitely doesn't mean that racism isn't here. It just means I haven't seen it yet. Could do with some representation. So I went into the town center <laughs> with the hope that racism would reveal itself. I went to get some food, I met a delightful wow. friend group, and to be honest, the craziest thing I'd seen wasn't even racist. It was just something that shocked my English mind. To make it look like I'm talking to the camera, I just can't believe it right that now. Because right behind gone. us, there's a kid with a gun. Wait! Nah, the little jits out here towing knockers? The little jits out here is, 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 is carrying the knockers to get y'all niggas knocked off? How the hell does a kid get a gun? America's different, man. But don't worry, not all kids were shooting guns. Some were shooting hoops. Basketball going on. Who's the best basketball player here? Me, this guy. That's you? Yeah. What's your name? My name. They call me ringside. What I want to do is I want to take you on, and then if you beat me, I've got $20. Oh, yeah, let me hop in then. Let me hop in too. If you miss, you're done for. Oh, I that that he's good. Too. I think you're going to fumble the bag. Oh! oh that was disrespectful. That Guys, I'm a basketball player. I'm a basketball okay. player. Oh! As it should, like, it should be nothing more, like, that shit should always, like, all three of them as they should, that's regular, normal shit. They should have that in my locker. Oh, I play basketball. Alerts are not all right now. Oh, you got one? What you got? What you got? Oh, he's fast! Yes. Sorry, man, sorry. Yeah? But I won't miss. Yeah! Wow. Oh, God, that's dangerous. Listen, you won. Congratulations. The cannon. I appreciate it. I know you're good. I know you're good at this game. Uh, bro, it's Chunks from Simon. No, chunks? Boys, I'm Chunks, yeah. yeah I'm Chunks. If I'm being honest, everyone had accepted me in this what town. Even Richard from the Magic game came back to meet up with me. From the videos which we've seen online, it looks like the whole town is racist. They make it look like the whole town is racist. Oh, I, seen, I haven't seen anything. I've seen people like you. The reason we get this racist reputation from around the world is because we have a KKK leader that actually... Okay, okay, okay. Everybody knows this KKK leader. Does niggas not arrest a nigga? <laughs> like, okay, like, okay, bro. I, we get it. They work with the, they work with government and shit like that. They, they've been exposed. But, like, are they not going to get arrested? It's not illegal. Okay, but like, oh my God. Actually lives like 15 miles away. So why am I focusing on Harrison when one of the main reasons this town is seen as the most racist town in America is because of the leader of the KKK. I think I've realized that this man has given all the people from this town yeah, a bad a name. He put up the billboard and he's the one, one who holds the racist marches. So far my experience of this town has been positive. There's been people like Richard who actively wanted to help me. My he literally Richard. agreed to take me wherever I wanted for free, but it was even my crazier when I spoke to him and found out the daily struggles he goes through every day. I've had multiple leg surgeries. I need oh, to have a foot surgery, but... Really? Yeah, I've been putting that on the back burner for quite a while. They wanted $3,200 up front. Really? Yeah. And every day you're feeling that? Oh, yes, but it's just part of life for me. This man is literally going through constant pain, yet he still wants to help me. And by no means am I saying that nobody in this town is racist. I just don't think it's fair to say that this is the most racist town okay. when the main okay, reason they w have this uh, right now, right now, w the man Arkansas. doesn't even live there. So I think it's time for me to take my focus off Harrison and declare war on the KKK and whoever their mystery leader is. What better place to Angla, Angla chat. start than Walmart, oh the place featured in that viral video. So I suited up and spoke to the people. Literally came from the UK just to document this area for on behalf of the BBC. What's with this town and their whole connection to the KKK? The KKK started in a town close to here and they would have their like some of the founding members lived on the outskirts of town. And where would they have those meetings? Sometimes they'd be held at the Hotel Seville. The hotel, they'd <gasps> be in at. the Hotel Seville? Yeah. So they were having meetings in the hotel which we're in right now? So that's got like racist Yo! links. Oh my gosh, the hotel was staying in as a racist hotel. Yo, who's your, yeah, my boy, who's your editor, bro? He be shitting. Like, how the fuck do you even do that? Links. Oh my gosh, the hotel was staying in as a Like, what the fuck? Racist hotel. 
Yeah, no, I can imagine. So your your husband's black. Yeah. So you're you're with it, man. You're with the cause. <laughs> Fight the power. <laughs> but it was time for me to find out who the wizard was and how I could find him. I was wondering if you could help me. I hear the great leader of the KKK or the grand leader of the KKK is in zinc. I have the foggiest idea. Can you draw me a map? on where we can go to find nah, him. Your dad's just helping me. He's, He's drawing me a map just He's to find to follow, uh, lying. someone. I'm not drawing your map because I don't know what you're looking for. He's lying, nigga, Gavin, Gavin. What, what? Okay, do you know anyone who would? No. Of, of what? So um, we're just doing a documentary here for the BBC uh -huh. and, and we're trying to find the grand leader of the um, Triple K. I know that he has a compound in um, zinc. In zinc. In zinc. And, and whereabouts hey? is this compound? That part oh, I well, don't zinc know. Road. Zinc. No, zinc, zinc Road. Take the north side. You... Oh, so now you know, nigga. Now, now you're going to pull out your Minecraft map for, the, for your inventory. And now you know where to go, right? When your bitch know, when your bitch starts talking to another nigga, now you know, right? Now you know. Oh, you know, make a left on this motherfucking block. Then you want to make this right right here, though. But make sure you make that right. Make sure you go around the loop, like bro. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You could, if you could just put it, put it down. It's just easier for us to follow the map. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is drawing it now, bro. Stop it. Oh, that's his name, Thomas yeah, Rob. Thomas Rob. He's actually the Thomas. the leader out here for KKK. It's supposed to be a big mansion with a okay. okay. If you. Can... <laughs> Wait, hold on, 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 Okay, okay, if you can just draw me how the house looks. Other than that, I have no idea. This is, honestly, thank you so much. You should be proud of your parents. They've really helped me here today for the cause. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And just like that, the moment we discovered who the Grand Wizard of the KKK was, uh -oh. an inside man from the KKK called the police on us and they escorted us off the property. Well, we've now left, so. Wow. Hi. There's the snitch. Okay, but I, like, okay and the police still did it. So like, how would you, like, oh, like, like, but why is he getting kicked out though? That's the point, like, what? Right over there. The wizard obviously has people here trying to stop us from finding him. But it was too late, because I already had his name. Thomas Robb, leader of the Ku Klux Klan. And something tells me he's not a very nice person. My friend, when the Lord touched your heart. We have the illegal aliens, that's it bad enough, but what were the so-called legal aliens? My white brothers and sisters, you are a race of warriors and a race of conquerors. I think gay people's abomination. The Ku Klux Klan is an American... Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait, hold on. Is this TOS for real? Is this TOS? No. It's not, right? This is, educa this is for educational purposes, bro. We gotta, we gotta let our kids know What's going on? Bro, so so Jadeon had this thing going, right? Jadeon had this thing going. And now it's kind of like Nico, he got a little bit deeper. Like he got like the, he going for like the head honcho. So it's kind of like- White supremacist terrorist and hate group, also known as the KKK, who have a history of many brutal killings of black people to keep them under their control. Even today, their goal remains white supremacy oh and a white ruled America. Sounds stupid, right? Well, not stupid enough because they still have many, many members. So I think someone needs to go down there and make these people look as stupid as they are and I'll give it my best shot. So it's time for me to track down Thomas Robb to Zinc and there was only one man I wanted to take me there. Is that my favourite man from Arkansas? Thank uh, you so much, man. Nice to see you. My boy yeah. Richard! To you, man. Today we're going on adventures together. Absolutely. What we do have here, which potentially, hopefully, you can take us to, okay. is a map to Zinc. I was wondering, if you could take us there. I'll do my best. Oh, Thank you, my friend. Shit. The map gave us the key, which has now activated the route to our destination. So I made myself look presentable and I headed to the place where everyone said the racists reside. Feeling nervous? 
confident. You're confident. I'm confident, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> I've heard a lot of things about zinc, and absolutely none of it was positive. Oh shit, chat. Chat. Oh shit. Looks like a place called zinc. Unfortunately, the map only seemed to take us to the town of Zinc. We couldn't see this mansion that had been so beautifully drawn out. But the town population is literally 100, so I was confident we could track him down. But it didn't take long for us to get attacked. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> great. What's going on? Listen, dogs. Yo, ah, what the up, hell's man. going on? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> calm down, you racist dog. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what he's speaking to right now. He's definitely being racist and dog. <laughs> Chill, dog. Leave me alone. George is right there. George is so close to him and he's going for me. But luckily we ended up finding this guy who gave us directions. <laughs> Hi, my friend. Um, we're, we're just here to interview uh, Thomas Robb. Is the next dirt road to your right? And this took us deep into zinc. There was no going back now. No signal, have you bro, lost I'm signal? scared for this nigga, bro. I have. You quite possibly could get shot or hurt and then try to sue resulting in a long drawn out court battle you will lose because this sign will be what the fuck and here it is and i think this is that house Okay, well, I will, knocking I, on a KKK leader's door. I wish you luck. Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much. My boy, Richard, is you just gonna leave these niggas? You giving back door vibes. What you mean, I wish you luck? Nigga, you supposed to be coming with me, Richard. The fuck? How much for driving us out here? Oh my gosh. Here we go. Epic gamer. Hello? What do we do? Do we knock? Oh, Confederate. Let's speak to this person. Oh, shit. Hello, my friend. No, you need to leave. I need to leave? You need to leave. I'm, I'm here on behalf of the BBC. Are we not able to have a conversation? Give me a call tomorrow and maybe we'll arrange it. Okay, uh, how, how can I give you a call? Can I just get your number just so I can give you a call? Oh, shit. Oh, we'll call you up. Okay, thank you. Is that him? Yeah, that was him. So we're now gonna try and do this properly. Yo, that was definitely him. Yo, that was definitely him. Bro, that was definitely that nigga, bro. By booking in an interview with him tomorrow, and hopefully uh, we could make something work. The only reason he seemed up for taking an interview with me is because I told him I worked for the BBC. So I'm gonna run with that and say that we're running a positive story on the KKK and hopefully that tricks them into accepting an interview. Hello, Hello, is this Thomas Robb? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How does he oh answer? Oh gosh, here we go. Hello, yes I'm here. I'd love to get an interview with you. Um, I've come from the UK to speak to you. We're trying to do a story on why the KKK isn't racist. Uh, we basically just want to uh, talk it all over with you, if that's okay. The reverse psychology, the way he approached it, so smart. Yo, so, hey, Nico. <laughs> what, is, what a smart fucking guy, man. The way, the way, he, 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 the way, he, he, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How about coming out here, uh, not to my home, yep. but to the church right next door. You probably know where it's at. Thank you. Thank you yep. so much. Bye. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. You know we did the impossible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what happens when you just say, oh, I'm from the UK, I'm from the BBC. He just thinks this is some important thing. He didn't even, do any, didn't even think to do any research. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just BBC. And I am a BBC. The fact this man has accepted an interview with the BBC with no background check or any need for identification shows his stupid intelligence level. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that. My bad, mate. The Marcus! Do y'all understand what's going on, right? Do y'all understand what's going on, right? Bro, these niggas, bro. All good, homie. For years, Thomas Rob has had in these niggas just entered the multiverse, the multiverse, bro. Do you understand that? These niggas just literally entered the multiverse, nigga. These niggas are playing with the universes right now, bro.
They're wildin', gang! ...the views and has been able to put the KKK's racist views out into the world, and I think it's time for someone to troll this man and make him look like the idiot he is. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're about to meet up with the leader of the KKK. In the past when I've spoken to racist people, I always try to avoid confronting them because the moment you confront them, you get no information. We're trying to show what he actually believes. I, I genuinely want to find out and then we start the trolling. But God, there is no organization more racist than the KKK. So I'm genuinely scared to hear what he's going to say. I ain't going to lie. Oh shit. Oh, oh. this. Crazy. Oh, so this shit. Is it. oh shit. Oh shit. So we're here at the home of Thomas Robb. I'm with the KKK. Here we are. Big up Tom. I'm R. Yo! Oh. Don't we Don't we know this nigga? Oh yeah, these niggas definitely fucking with the universes right now, bro. Don't we know this nigga? You gotta understand, these niggas went there at the same time. That means these niggas went there at the same time, bro. That's fucking insane. Like these both these niggas was both on timing. Thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah, where, wherever you think is best. I'm about to interview the leader of the KKK oh, and so run scared. with the name Imar Nantz. This could go very wrong. Very, very wrong. What's your name? Imar. How much? What's that? Imar. Imar Nantz. And what other pieces you've done? Have you, have you heard of it? Imar. <laughs> you think it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> English Defence League in, in the UK? Oh, I haven't. Have you heard of English Defence League? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you know about the English Defence League? Okay. Yeah, so, so basically the English Defence League, they just basically want to keep England for English. Oh, uh -huh. that's not reasonable. So you did an interview with them? <laughs> yes, I've done interviews with them in the past. Welcome um, to the BBC. We're here with Thomas Robb. My name is Thomas Robb. I'm the uh, National Director of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. I'm here with... <laughs> I'm our nurse and Nos. Nos. So I, I'm our nonce. Nance. Nas. So I'm not Nas. Can you say Nance? Nas. Nance. Nars. N O N S. Well, Nas. So nonce. Nance. Yes, perfect. Nance. I'm here with I'm our Nance. So now if we can just do that from the top. I'm Thomas Robb. I'm here with I'm our Nance. Oh, he sounds like a Looney Tune character. Bro, isn't the leader supposed to sound like, yo, my name is, my name is Thomas, nigga. Like, and it, and they gotta sound a little intimidating, bro. And he's with BBC. And yep. we're here having an enjoyable conversation about, about my involvement uh, with the Knights of the... That's all, folks. Q Klux Klan, I'm National Director, and welcome here to the Ozarks. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, really appreciate this. This is the highlight of my career. The highlight of your oh. career. Honestly, oh. I'm, being, I'm being real with you. First off, Thomas, um, could you just tell us about the KKK? When people hear the, the name KKK, all kinds of images come to their mind. We read in his books that the Klan would organize to subdue and put down black people. The Nonsense. purpose of, we don't view ourselves as being anti-black. We want to preserve our heritage on black people. The Nonsense. purpose How white Americans view that's crazy. We don't view ourselves as being anti-black. We want to preserve our heritage, we want to preserve our culture, we want to preserve who our, our identity. You want to stay white. There's nothing There's nothing ra racist about that. Absolutely. It really annoys me when people say um, that the KKK is racist because there's nothing pointing towards the KKK being oh, racist at all. How did you start your journey with the Ku Klux Klan? Did you get like gosh. assigned? Did they like start you off on like quests I, I, or anything? I, I, was, I was always involved in. I don't care what he's involved in, if I'm honest. I just wanted to move on to the more important questions. Oh, Have you shit. seen any of like the other clans out there? I've seen clans like- Yo, what is Somalia? What is that? What is Somalia? What, what, what is that? Please inform me, educate me, please, chat. Yeah, 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 so, yeah you know what I'm saying? Uh, a country. Okay, but why are we spamming it though? Like why, why are we, cause I haven't, I've seen it a whole bunch of times. Country in Africa. Nah, you sped. But you see what's so crazy with today's society? Bro, 
I'm literally asking y'all to educate me on something and y'all niggas just downplaying me. You see, this is what sets our black brothers and sisters back 30, 30 years, bruh. Face clan, optic clan, I just think that idiots. Yeah, like, yeah, no, one, no one would be a higher prestige level than you. Years ago, I used to go and speak for some other clan. But after a while, I thought, these guys are idiots. Yeah, I didn't want to be connected to these people, so I finally stopped speaking to other, other groups and so I feel that if I would have joined and pursued a career, scoping. I could have very, yeah. been very successful in those careers also. Yeah. <laughs> they mean well, but they just don't have what it takes to take their clan to the to the levels of the sure. Ku Klux. Would there be someone from FaZe Clan here? I don't know, we don't ask. We don't Optic. Ask. I don't ask. Yeah. Oh, fair, this fair. Is church. So we, don't, we, don't. we don't discriminate in this church. Maybe we do, I don't know. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what you mean by that, buddy? <laughs> what, 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 what you mean by that, bro? What, you, what did you mean by that? Yo, leader, what did you mean by that, leader? What do you mean by that? Real shit. I don't, I don't know what you meant by that, bro. That, that was a little tricky right there. I ain't gonna cap. Anybody who's donating right now or subbing, I'm going to get to your alerts after this video. Don't worry about it. Yeah, he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we do, because everybody's so, not welcome. Our... <laughs> oh, yeah, he's laughing. <laughs> 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 Maybe we do, because everybody's so, not welcome in our church. I'm sorry. So could I come to this church? No. no. Okay. No, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, fair enough. What do you think of the people who say... Damn, he... Like, Jadeon didn't get to go to the church. So this is like... like Jadeon and him kind of like filled in the gaps, like... Jadeon got like the general information, and Nico got more of the inside misgive tweet. What happened? Let me get my phone real quick. Yo, Chet, I'm not gonna lie. Bro. Like this tweet if you think you could beat me in the book. Okay. I don't even know why I just read that. Yo, Chad, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, my neighbors are throwing a crazy ass barbecue, bro. Bro, I know, bro, that shit is screaming content right now. Bro, I need to get mic'd up and go over there, bro. What the fuck? You're racist. What do you mean by a racist? Someone who doesn't like black people or has prejudices towards black people. Uh, even those words Bro, don't, I'm not what do those words mean? I've got prejudice. I can't, I can't. Of course, it's a dumb question. I mean, I prefer being around white people. I'm sorry, that's the way it is, you know? Oh, and, you, you, no, but like, I'm, I'm like a supporter of you, so, uh, including me, like you prefer being around white people. I'll be your friend, but you're not gonna come over to my house for a barbecue. Oh, you wouldn't invite <laughs> me? No. Oh, fair enough, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Uh, and that's, is that See, because of See, what color? the fuck? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm a, I preserve my own people. Yeah. And I, I, I'm not offended by a black person who says, hey, I prefer being around other black, yeah. my black brothers. Fine, I understand that. <laughs> that, that, my black brothers. Yo! Nah, he's mimicking us, bro. Black person says, hey, I prefer being around other black, yeah. my black brothers. Fine, I understand that. Yeah. I prefer being around my family than some strange family. Me personally, as a, as a fan of, fan of you, I'm not trying to, Portray all the KKK as racist because I've never seen anything racist yeah. by the KKK. It it's goes racist. back to the idea of what is a racist. If a racist is someone who hates black people and wants to do them harm or something like that, then obviously. It don't gotta be I'm, only black I'm, people, I'm, gang. I have no desire to. I have no de desire to. Yo! He's choking! Oh my god, yo, like, bro. Yo, like, you being a grown ass man. And you, like, you choking on your words and stumbling over your mistakes right now, bro? It's pretty embarrassing, bro. Yo, what the fuck? Black people and wants to do them harm or something like that. And then, I obviously, I'm, I, I have no desire to, I, I have no de desire to see misfortune come to a black child. Yeah. I have no desire for that. I feel, yeah, I feel, I feel compassion for a, a young black mother whose child is get caught up in the drugs <gasps> or get shot by a drive-by shooting. I feel yeah. much compassion for them. Mm. I, I gotta qualify that. Yo, yo, bro, niggas, no, bro, yo, this shit is crazy, yo. The stereotypes in this is insane. 
Bro, you see, this is, okay, I think, I think I gotta make the, okay, 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 I know what I gotta do. I gotta make the final video, bro. I gotta go there at night and only record at night, bro. That's what, that's what I'm destined to do. Bro, KC3 gotta go there only at night, bro. That's what I gotta do, gang. Bro, that's what I gotta do, bro. Literally, bro. Bro, why the fuck are those stereotypes so hard, bro? Nig bro, niggas lucky I didn't go to this shit, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I, I think I would've stopped them right there and be like, yo, what do you mean by that? Like, bro, ah, I don't know. A young black mother whose child is get caught up in the drugs or get shot by a drive-by shooting, I feel as much compassion for them. I, I gotta qualify that. I probably feel more compassion for a white child. I have, I just have to say that. I. Oh my God! Why can't be you just feel compassion for a child in general? It's a child. It's literally a baby. It's literally a baby. Why is this? Why is racism becoming content? This is wow, bro, Bruce. This is crazy. I think it's like I think people attract to it though. I think I think the reason why people attract to it is because it's because of the shit that's coming out their mouths. Like they're open to it. Plus, like bro, you don't see this much YouTube videos on the internet in educational purposes. But I do understand what you're saying though. Like. Why should we chase, you know, why, why are we going to like, why are we, why are we going to look for racism and record it and, you know, do our thing, you know? Like, like me, I would never go to Arkansas at night. Like, I would never say some dumb shit like that. Like, me personally, bro, I won't ever say some dumb shit like that, bro. Like, I would never go to, you know, nigga, I'm not doing that dumb shit, bro. The fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Personally, I believe that the black people in this country would be much better off if somebody like me was running things than the liberal crackpots that we got in Washington, D.C. today. Why has there never been like a KKK party? In this country, okay, up until... Wait, if we, if we just look down the lens while, while we say this part. Okay, in this country, up <laughs> until somewhere in the 1960s, this country was, was a dominant white rule, white, yeah. white power structure, what I'll call that. That's not the way it is today. Yeah, things have changed now. The only way it's going to go back, in my mind, maybe I'm wrong. I'll always, always say, well, maybe I'm wrong. But it, it, until white people re once again control this nation, black people will be unsafe in their own neighborhoods by their own people. From what you've said, I really respect Yo, you speaking from this shit is so sad. Well, I don't think I understand how sad this is, bro. Like, this shit just makes me want to punch. Like, this shit is sad, bro. Like, do y'all understand that racism would never end, bro? It would never end. It would, it would never end. Like, the simple color, like, like, okay. Me and Tommy down the block, we're the exact same, gang. We are the exact same. We bleed the same. We walk the same. We breathe the same. We run the same. We jog the same. We 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 talk this not talk the same, but like you know, we talk. We talk. We, we everything's the same, bro. Why should the skin of our body d separate us? Like, and you know what's crazy though? That's what makes you know what makes me even more happy, bro. I'm so happy that I'm black, though. I ain't gonna lie, that's one thing I would say, bro. Like, besides everything that's been going on, I can truly say that I've been, I'm happy that I'm black. Because I remember me growing up. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I remember me growing up. I used to watch a lot of superhero movies. And chat, I know, there's not that much black superheroes, bro. So, when I used to see all these superheroes that were white and all these, like, movies I used to watch where the main character was a white person and shit... I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know about y'all. I, I don't know if y'all can agree with me, but there was times where, because I seen, like, so much white superheroes in my head, bro. I was thinking, like, yo, bro, I wish I was white. Like, bro, I, when I was younger, I used to always think like that because of the superhero shit and what I see on TV. Like, I'd be like, yo, bro, I wish I was white. Like, what if I was white? You feel what I'm saying? But I've grown to be like, bro, what the fuck? You're black, nigga. <laughs> like... Yo, like, I'm so happy I talk like this. I'm so happy that my hair is like this. I'm so happy that I can embrace certain things that, you know, you feel what I'm saying? Yo, Grunts, hold them ads. Sub up, little nigga. A heart like this. I actually did some documenting in the UK as well, where there was a group of supporters for the KKK in a town called Clapped. And I think that, honestly, you're, you're like a Clapped guy. If you could shout out 
the, the people from CLACT, the supporters of the KKK <laughs> and CLACT. Is there anybody out there in the UK? In the UK? Yeah, in the UK and CLACT. In the UK, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, yeah. um, England. Howdy. I just know they would have appreciated <laughs> the shout, out. Uh, uh, shout out. Shout, shout out, out to the people from CLACT. Shout out. Thomas is Shut a clap up. guy. <laughs> I don't really know the clap people, so I, maybe I'm wrong. No, you are, you are. Okay, I'm a clap guy, all right. Um, Forgive me, clap people. <laughs> <laughs> now that Thomas had called himself clapped, it was time for me to reveal the ace up my sleeve. We run a group in the UK called the UK Stand with um, the KKK. We made a post of me and you together, and we mentioned if anyone wanted to shout out, maybe we picked three names and you just shout them out. There, there are your supporters. Let me see you got there. Thank you all the people <laughs> from the UK Stand with KKK. Right here we have Thomas, and he's going to be shouting your names out. I, I, I map. You say? I map. You say? I don't know my I map. You say? <laughs> but I map. You say says can't wait. <laughs> I guess what? <laughs> Yo, I go lie. I go lie, bro. I'm a piece. Of... <laughs> I go lie. is the most creative shit I've ever seen. I go lie. is the most creative shit I've ever seen. This is actually creative. This is actually really, really creative right here. I actually like this right here. The interview. Here. So, well, there it is. As you can see, it's great. And then we got a. Bielm? BL. BL? M. BLM? Yeah. See, he's the best, I guess. Shout out BLM. I'm a shout out to you and then. So shout out to who? To BLM? BLM? Yeah. Yeah, and it says you so, love him. I don't know. Hope that guy's not gay. So let's go away. <laughs> then Sue Kabatic. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean by that? What do you 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 mean? What do you mean by you hope that guy's not gay? Yo, what do you mean by that, gangy? Yo, what do you mean by that, gang? Cause you know we support Everybody over here, word. Yeah, and it says you love him. I don't know. Hope that guy's not gay. So let's <laughs> Then Sue Kabedic. Sue. Sue yeah. Kabedic. Yeah, Sue Kabedic. <laughs> yeah. I guess I pronounced that right. Yeah. Says love him. So I, I appreciate people like me. I like, I like yeah, no, all, the, like all these people. Are, and that's the thing. You have, fantastic. you have a lot of supporters well, in the UK. Thank you so much for shouting them out. Right. Let's round it up properly because. Um, so we we'll look down the lens, introduce your name properly, so just say, I'm Thomas, <laughs> member of the KKK, I've enjoyed um, this BBC. I'm Thomas Raab, I'm a, a, a national director for the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, and I enjoyed yeah. this uh, interview with, BBC. with the BBC. No, it's this BBC, so it's just, I've enjoyed this BBC, it's a BBC interview. I've enjoyed this BBC. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know it's been a proper deep interview, I appreciate you taking this BBC. So am I the first mixed race person in this church? No, no we've had reporters from every... European nation, we have the BBC uh, here before, a number of years yeah. ago. Oh, so this is the second time you've had a second, BBC? Second, third time, maybe, I don't know. Nah, like, so why lie? Like, what's the point of lying, bro? Like, nigga, what? So you, so this is your third time taking a BBC. This is your third time having a BBC. A word? Okay. Yeah. Before, a number of years yeah. ago. Oh, so this is the second time. You've had a Second, BBC. Third time, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. So you're with the your experience with the BBC. We've, we've done we've done a lot of done a lot of <laughs> interviews here mm -hmm. over the years. Any any as deep as this one? It is as what? As deep as this one. Oh yeah, sure. You've That's had right. a proper deep sure. experience with the BBC. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank All you right. so much. Thomas Rob, you have no idea what you've just done. I'm not the BBC, I'm just a random man making a mockery of everything you stand for. I won't touch that just in case. Hi. Disintegrate. Okay, BBC, here we have the flag of the Ku Klux Klan. No, this is the Knights Party. Huh? There's not a Klan flag, this is a oh. flag of the Okay, the of the Knights Party. So they're different? Correct. Okay. Okay, BBC, here we have the flag. Oh, wait, wait, we, we haven't got the shot yet. And here we have <laughs> the flag of the Knights Party. Run, Nico, Nico, Honestly, run. Man, you've, Nico, you've, run you've now. really smashed this interview. We need to wrap it up, though. You really Nico got run! Stuff to do. Nico Rob, run! Leader of the Ku Klux Klan has taken this BBC. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No problem. Such a deep interview. All right. Welcome. Appreciate you. Okay. Thomas Rob had taken my BBC <laughs> and was now struggling to walk, but I had one final question to ask him. I did mean to ask about the the hoods in the. Do you ever wear those hoods? The pointy things. We have them for a cross lighting ceremony. Okay. Where is it? All right. And just as a like a side question, have have you ever like made love with the hood on? Yeah? Okay, well, fair enough. Let's just get this pick and, uh, and we'll go. At this moment, Thomas Rob had realized he had been swindled and he was burning. So never made love with the hood? He didn't, didn't say no, Thomas. Oh, great. You, you, you degraded yourself now and the interview is over. I'm sorry, you get in the car and you may leave. Okay, wow. perfect. Appreciate you, Thomas. Thanks for the interview. 
It's got BBC. We tricked this man into thinking we were the BBC Yo. and now this man will never take an interview ever again. He will have trust issues for the rest of his life. Wish the fellows in clap a good time. Yeah, I know. Well, you're all a bunch of clapped guys here. Come down to Clapped in the UK because anyone from the KKK is clapped. Right. <laughs> clapped guy. Big up. Big up, man. Respect. <laughs> oh. Go. What we have done today is we got the leader of the KKK, Ow! arguably the most racist man in the world, to shout out BLM. <laughs> you know how funny that is? And he has no idea, absolutely no clue. He said that Yo, I disgraced myself by asking him if he makes love with his hood on. Like he hasn't disgraced himself with his words. <laughs> but listen, my friends, we do this, number one, because it's right, but also because we wanted to get to the bottom of the story. Harrison, Arkansas is not a racist town. However, Yo, it nigga. is home to the most racist person. But the heart of Arkansas has incredible people like Richard, and that's what I was gonna take away. I'm not gonna say there's no racism in Harrison, because of course there is. People have obviously experienced racism there, and it definitely exists. But to label the entire town as racist is just not true and it's not fair on many of the great people who live in Harrison, including the ones that I met. Like Richard, the man who literally helped me prank the KKK, one of the world's most feared organizations, and he did this after knowing me for 48 hours. That's ridiculous. And there was Shout one final Richard, thing okay. I needed to talk to him about. All right, Richard, I have a confession to make. I don't actually work for the BBC. I, I kind of figured that a few days ago. At what point did you realize? Your education. You said you only went to uni for one day. So at that point you realized I just didn't have the guts to then tell you I didn't work for the BBC. But honestly, you have made this whole journey. Couldn't have done any of this without you. And I feel like you are the best representation of Arkansas. I was really sorry to hear about what you were telling me about the other day with your like foot and the and the surgery and all of that. I wanted just because you're a great guy to to help you out. So what I've done, I've got a thousand dollars, and then I want to send you a further four thousand dollars later on as well. Thank you. Just because you're a great guy, Richard. Honestly, you are an amazing guy. Yo, Richard, play your life! So, um, hopefully you can get your foot surgery. You're a living legend, my friend. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. This is one of the nicest things that anyone's done for me in a I'm long call, time. I'm call, I'm call, I'm and, uh, it's been a wild weekend. It's been a while. Listen, man, I've, any, any way I can help you, uh, I'm glad. Look, give me a hug, man. Give me a hug. Thank you, man. Honestly, it wouldn't have been the same without you. Yeah. I really appreciate you, man. And honestly, just your outlook on life, everything, it's just really, really admirable. Up, well, my friends, we came to this random state in America and met some great people. But I can safely say I will never be returning here again as the KKK now have a direct reason to target Play me. Life, so, my friends of the NDL, we have defeated another enemy. Please like and what subscribe to join us. You're not ready for what's coming next. I ain't gonna lie, that was such a wholesome. Yo, Kai, your videos are ass. Yo, Kai, what was your last video? Yo, first of all, bro, bro, this shit was so. No, Nico, Nico, your shit was so fucking good, bro. I think this was my first time. Bro, I think this was my first time actually seeing your shit, bro. Subscribe. You got my pull notifications on, bro. What a great fucking guy, man. Yo, 